few last time we went camping and really every time we go camping this is an issue and uh so whenever we built the rack if you remember on the back of the rack we i put two little light tabs so my goal was to mount was always to mount a couple little led lights up there just so that at night time when you're if we got to get something which we always do trying to find something that's in one of the totes or in a bag or something like that or, or just any little thing kids dropping something or whatever the case may be we're always out there with flashlights trying to hold a flashlight and do something else and so when we built the rack we said we need to put tabs so that we can mount us some led lights just so that at night time we can flip a switch and have them on and and uh and be able to kind of light up where we're camping at so that we can see and, and whatever plus also I can't see Jack at nighttime when I'm backing up in the wagon here. It's hard to see what's behind me. And uh, so I'm hoping with these also that they can also kind of serve as a little bit of a, a backup light support. So um, I looked online, I, I can't spend hundreds of dollars on KC lights or something like that. They're, they're great, they're awesome lights. I just can't do it, I can't afford that. I, we just can't swing that. So. Searched on Amazon um, and then ended up going to the trusty old Harbor Freight and they have these. Um, they have flood and spot. We got the flood light so that we could kind of get a little bit wider light pattern. Um, these were like 28 bucks a piece, something like that. And um, so they got good reviews. The output, everything on the box seems to be like they'll serve for what we're wanting to do. We're not racing by or nothing like that. So. I've already unboxed one of them. Um, it seemed like a surprisingly much more durable, heavier light than I was expecting them to be. So, so anyway, um, we're gonna go ahead and get to mounting these up today. And if I got enough time, we'll probably start pulling some wire and try to get these things hooked up uh, so that we can have some light at nighttime around camp. So these are the Road Shock three inch flood at light. Um, once I opened them up, I was actually kind of surprised with how nice you have these waterproof connectors. Um, you have the male and female, obviously. This end will obviously be wired into the wire we run. But I like that, man. It's just a really nice, nice waterproof connection. Um, and then you also have what appears to be stainless. Um, hadn't read on the thing yet to see, but... Um, all the stuff that you would need to to mount all this stuff up. So hopefully this should be pretty straightforward. So I'm gonna get these, get my Allen heads in here and kind of get them roughly set up. And then I'm gonna drill my holes in the tabs and we'll get these mounted up. What you got on these, you have a lock nut. Obviously you wanna face the nylon toward the end of the light. And then they just drop down into these slots and the slot kind of holds it so just like that and then take your bolt you can see how this one was done you just slide it through i'm gonna have to put the phone now i can't hold the phone and do this but it's kind of how the bracket mounts the bracket is also you can see it has a slope to it i faced it so that as the light is facing back i'll be able to get a more downward motion Obviously, flip it up. It's going to give you more to have an upward motion. But So just kind of be mindful of that if you go with these. All right. So here they are kind of crudely mounted up. We'll finish adjusting them whenever uh, I actually get them hooked up. Kind of see where they need to be shining. But So we're back working on the lights today. And here's kind of, I've been, the, I have a toggle switch. I didn't really want to put a toggle switch anywhere on the dash. I, I like to keep stuff as looking factory as possible. Um, not saying that I wouldn't put one up there, but if I can find another way to do it, I want to try to find it. So just kind of, I pop this cover off here. These just snap off. And um, then I noticed down here, there's these two switches here. Uh, this one runs your rear washer and wiper. And the other one does the factory fog lamps now the previous owner had had somebody already do a really nice job with relays wire in a switch for 
front off-road lights, which they never installed. The kit's just been rolled up. You might have seen in some of the other videos just a roll of wire with a toggle switch. That's what that is. So what I come up with, I'm never, like I mentioned, I'm never going to put wiper, washer, and if I do, I'm not cutting anything. The plug is still right there. Um, so I'm not, I'm not cutting any wires, but I did pop this switch out and came around here to find what's what. This is the factory switch. So my hot needs to come into this one. I just used a, a just a basic test light and hooked the wire that they had run here, hooked to there to kind of find where's what. If it starts sparking, get off of it. That's obviously not the one you want. So I found out by my hot wire coming into this one, whenever I flip the switch on, this one right here that's got the L on it becomes hot. And this one over here beside it comes hot. And so I don't need this third prong. I'm assuming one was for the washer and one went over to the wiper, I'm assuming. So I'll just make sure this one gets covered up and doesn't, that way it don't arc and ground. And I'll be able to wire off the relay a hot coming in and then this one coming out to my lights. I'll have one wire running back to my lights and then I'll just solder in a pigtail off of that main wire um, going over to the other light and then I'll just ground them back there in the back somewhere. So this way, and I'm hoping this will work, we'll find out, um, that this will have a factory appearance and I'll be using a switch that works um, that's already in the dash and it'll look nice and neat and clean won't be in the way and uh, we'll be able to use our auxiliary, our, our rear lights back there in the back. And the only reason I didn't, I thought about trying to go through the factory harness and all that kind of stuff, but then you have to start cutting things and I don't really want to get into that. And I also want to make sure that I can turn these on even with the key off. So, Cause that's most of the time when we're going to be using it, just when we're sitting around camp and need to flick a light on to have a little light or something other. So that's my plan at the moment. Hold the green wire to the side of the black one. Give it a good all the way coverage. What I did, I just ran a little bit larger gauge wire to the back to just run a single hot. We've pigtailed off of it to the hot here, continued on to the hot here, and then kind of same thing for the ground. I just pigtailed off of it to this ground to here. Now I just got to mount some sort of ground up here. I, I wanted to run it down and ground it inside, but we ended up using the washer hose. It fit into the grommet we got perfectly. And so, and I, you know, I think it'll just, it'll look nice and, and neat. <laughs> the sun is... And the hot wire would run through it, but it was too small to get the ground wire back through it. So all I got to do though is find and I may just end up doing a self-tapping screw through the rack and just ground it up here. I'm doing everything soldered and then I just put heat shrink on top of everything just to seal it off nice and neat. And then we'll do a coating, a, a cover over all of it. So it should never be no, no, no issues with anything. So anyway, we're finna get a ground up here and then all we gotta do then is hook the switch up and we should be, should be in business. So should light up the world. Should light up the world. Yes. Let me check. Yes. They what? Good night. All right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> they work they do exactly what we need them to we can run them without the truck being on which is really nice and we're hoping that this 
really helps us whenever we're trying to set up at night or find something at night. We hope you like this video. Please like and subscribe to our channel to see more of what we're doing on Termite. You look like a burglar. <laughs> From home alone. I don't have anything for you, ladies. Oh, y'all are standing in like perfect formation. Good job, ladies.